Good morning, Mech Warriors. Welcome back. Not an awful lot has happened since yesterday. Uh, we flew around a little bit. We visited a couple black markets. We get, visited a couple SLDF systems. We did a little shopping. Um, we ran a couple of missions to help keep us in the black. Uh, we still spent more money than we should have, but we did manage to find some Lost Tech. Found a regular UAC-10 in the in an SLDF store, and we found a UAC-10 Double Plus in a um, black market. So we stuck both of those onto the Highlander, along with the three medium lasers um, and a whole bunch of AC-10 ammo, and he now tosses out 390 damage on a good day. Uh, we have moved the Gauss rifle over to the Marauder, so he now has double Gausses, uh, but he only has 760 armor. Uh, the Wolverine is the, sta the same as are everybody else. Um, I kind of want to change this assassin up a little bit at some point in the future if I can ever find anything to put on him. Um, he does have four support hard points, so I'd like to change him up. Actually, I may go ahead and do that now. So I'm not a huge fan of the snub. Um, it's great, it's 100 damage in the back, but it's a shotgun, so it just kind of scatters everywhere and whatever, and it's super heat intensive. Um, with his seven, his seven jump jets are 14 heat, so when he, when he does the whole thing, it's 49 um, heat. So he overheats really fast and doesn't, doesn't slow down that much. But we'll leave him as he is for now. And uh, we have flown over to Fiery Plains where the Mad Cat who walked through walls is. So we have done this before. We have failed this before. It has gone very, very poorly. We are going to try again. Uh, we have a plan. It's probably a bad plan, but we still have a plan. Um, and let's give this baby a try. He is a this is a 210 ton mission, um, so to fit under 210, I believe we go. Uh, I think we decided these two together were 130, leaving us with 90 left, and so we go uh, blackjack and firestarter. So it's Firestarter, Blackjack, Wolverine, and, Bad and Marauder. Um, I'll play around a little bit when we get in there and see if we can fit something different in there. I think that's our plan, though. All right. So, Flashpoint time. The Bad Cat, who walks through walls. Our overlords wish to speak to us. I summoned one of the Dark Lords. Sumire, please... Use proper military technology terminology while we're while on duty. We don't have time to learn your cryptic references to science fiction literature. Commander, my pleasure to see you, and I hope this message finds you well in these troubled times. I am acting both as employer and as a liaison for the Alpha Trading Company, who issued the original extraction contract against the Satan's kittens. I was ordered by the Merit Commonwealth office, Commonwealth's office in Atreus to renegotiate ATC's contract, and there was included in the orders a report provided by SAFE about your recent encounter with the Satan's Kittens and their leader, Laura Murray, so this won't be your first time facing them. Th that and the fact that you survived the encounter makes you and your company an even better selection for this mission. Commander, several other missionary companies attempted to fulfill ATC's contract before, and they have all failed. You are the most promising candidate so far, due to already having survived one encounter with the kittens. And despite Laura Murray's particular crimes against your company and crew, I expect you to deal with her in a professional way, Commander. But what this particular pirate deserves is a well-placed bullet in her head. She has other crimes that require a special kind of justice, so bring her in alive if you can. Otherwise, take her down on the field. On more practical matters, one ATC jump ship captain has placed Laura Murray's personal dropship, the Bad Kitty, operating in Fiery Plains. Our agent was unable to visually confirm her presence, but he reported fighting alongside the Satan's Kittens and other pirate groups. Your objectives are to locate Laura Murray and capture or kill her before she escapes using her dropship. We are keeping the Bad Kitty under passive observation. If we make a move on it or land our forces, Murray will become alerted and it will be impossible to catch her. So to keep discretion, you will need to pose as a pirate group and capture one of Murray's lieutenants. 
Once she's in our possession, we'll track and ambush one of the kitten's supply convoys heading towards their dropships. Once all that's done, you can expect a response, a response from the kittens. Murray will have to come out and deal with you before the other pirate groups smell the blood in the water and jump on her to take advantage of a weakened opponent. Once she's in the open, either kill or capture her, Commander. Once you do so, several of my employers will be greatly pleased to see justice done. One last thing. Our agents have secured a lance of Badland Horde's mechs, battle mechs, if you want to impersonate a pirate group, and especially one known to be allied to the Satan's kittens, to more easily approach and capture the kitten lieutenant. If you choose so, we'll make them ready for your company to use. They consist of a Phoenix Hawk, Shadow Hawk, Wolverine, and a Rifleman. That will be all. Good luck, Commander. We'll be expecting good news from you, Force Commander Singh, out. Alright. So, I wonder what Lord Singh would say if he knew the true story about that mission on the twins. Maybe we should have gotten a parrot after all. Perhaps Jane can take the cockpit out of those new Lao Ravens we heard about, heard of, make a pirate Frankenmech by sticking it on an Atlas shoulder. The moment Murray steps onto the battlefield, we can expect her to recognize us after the event at the Twins. Parrot Frankenmech or not, that should be an interesting moment indeed. I say you two are starting to parrot one another. Better to keep in mind that this is one of the kittens' main bases in the area. They are fighting on their home field, and we already got a glimpse of their tactics when they used their infernos on that lance of marauders. We're literally hunting a mean and deadly cat in her lair. So if you remember correctly, Satan's kittens were in the second part of the peripheries of Heart's Mistress, where we used ECM to let them take the brunt of the attacks against that headhunter uh, marauder lance. This is also a little unexpected, since when is anyone in the Merrick household so interested in a pirate leader operating this far out the periphery, as Singh implied? And why buy an existing contract? They are after her. Why the need to hide behind the ATC skirts? We'll all see the character in action. We've all, all we've all seen the character in action before. I bet money that Captain Murray's manners have given her plenty of enemies throughout the galaxy. I guess she simply pissed off a larger shark that is about to swallow her. That's how most pirate groups end. Well, the intelligence seems solid on troop numbers and location, so someone's spies seem to be active. We'll take three consecutive drops: first to capture the lieutenant then to attack the convoy, and finally to take on Laura Murray in the field. What about those extra pirate mechs that were mentioned? How can we use them if we want it? There are two ways to capture the lieutenant. Either we capture her while she's traveling in one of the kitten convoys, or we assault her base the hard way. The hard mechs allow us the first option, to approach her undetected. The first option should be easier. Those pirate mechs are heavily loaded on energy weapons. Watch, watch your heat levels if you employ them, Commander. Alright, so the last time we tried this, uh, we went with the hard way and took our lands in. We succeeded, but we lost the Marauder in the process. And that kind of hamstrung us for the convoy mission, at which we lost two more mechs, which then left us with only three mechs to deploy on the final mission. So instead, we're going to go use the Horde mechs on the first mission. Even if we lose a pilot or a mech, that's fine because we'll have a full full lance for the second mission and hopefully be able to put go straight into the third without any real damage. All right, horde mechs it is, and we're gonna go 312 just in case we get something cool. All right. So with them liking to overheat us, we're going to bring Archangel, we're going to bring Halo, Halo why don't you take the Rifleman, Phoenix Hawk, uh, you take the Wolverine, let's get OBG and the Shadow Hawk, and Medusa in the Phoenix Hawk. All right. A 600 armor rifleman. That's crazy bad. It's like paper wearing on the outside of that thing. I shouldn't say anything. My freaking marauder is like 780, but 600 is really, really low. So we have to capture the pirate convoy without being detected by the kitten patrols in the area. So we're going to hit two convoys in a row. Oh, this is an escort. Okay, I see. I see. So the first one's going to be an escort. The second one's going to be a ambush convoy. And the third one will be an assassinate on Laura Murray. Got it. 
All right. Let's see what happens. Command interface so we brought two uh, cool invent guys. So hopefully we'll be able to hang in there. And of course we're on a on a planet that sinks 85, 75% heat. So uh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. So this guy's running out of PPC. I'm sure that he's way, way overheated. Alright, so we got enemies already. That's a 20-tonner. And the Wolverine's running double larges, double mediums. That's room six. Moving to position. Double PPC on the rifleman. All right. Acknowledged. These guys are gonna just like max heat right away. I, I know they are. All right. I've got Here comes a javelin and a flea. And something else there. Jenner and something else there a javelin all right let's see if any of these guys are anything special targeting baffles medium lasers MG ammo in the center core javelins running normal stuff his ammo is in the left tor left torso okay this guy's running an AC-5. His ammo's probably out here on his arm somewhere. Yep. Okay. And this flea is running that ammo there. And this javelin is... Alright, so not too bad. So if we go here... We're not going to use jump jets. Go ahead and get in and use these Roger. lasers. All right. So we'll turn off the PPC. It'll keep us heat neutral. Take this flea. That's a good shot. All right. Shadowhawk. Take you right up here. And don't super care about this guy, so let's go ahead and core him out, take off the large. Engaging target. Nice job. So most escorts have two or three lances, but they come in generally in groups, so we should be able to just focus down one group. Okay. That's fine. All right, Orders. and we're going to take the Rifleman over here, and go ahead and finish the Javelin off. Got it. Wow, look at all that heat that he generated there. That's insane. We can salvage that. All right, Damn. half of them down on the first Let's turn is pretty this. good. All right, Jenner's going to walk up and do not much. Morning. And the javelin is going to also shoot the phoenix hawk. And he's not impressed by any of that. Alright. Can you can get up here and punch a javelin? Let's do that. Moving out. Targeting for a physical attack. Good hit, but he didn't break anything. Got him on the unsteady, that's good. Alright, so you're in pretty good shape. I live to serve. You are not. All right. Let's get you over here. On the way. Turn off that and that. That'll do. Locking target. All right. Bring you down here. Go ahead and go all out. All weapons committed. And you didn't do it either. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Ready for orders. And you, my friend. Affirmative. Are going to cool and vent. Turn off a PPC. And called shot this leg. 
Acknowledged. And got the right torso to go with it. So that'll keep him out because we can hit. finish him off next round. So the plan here is to get these guys down and then move towards the uh, capture convoy spot up there while cooling off. Yeah. All right. Phoenix Hawk is ready to party. Let her rip. You know, I fired that PPC because it did a lot of damage. Oops, screwed that up. Should have shot him first. Yeah, a little damage. That sucks. Warning. Armor low. Oh well. Alright. Why don't you go ahead and melee this guy? Engaging physical attack. Most of him taken care of. Enemy mech. Critical Great damage order. detected. You have no choice but to melee this guy. You're way overheated. Onward. And he's gone. Are there none who can stay? Good to go. And this bad boy. Moving to position. That will overheat him. So will that. Take one laser into the leg. Engaging. Nope. Let's just let him down, but it's not gonna matter. He's still going to go first, because I just went last. Sure. Receiving you. Alright, Phoenix Hawk. Let's get you in here. Move order received. And... Turn you off. Locked on target. And... Punchy Punch! Attack. That'll help. Nice left leg crush. I await your command. And finish him. Locked and loaded. Here it comes. Nice. All right. Do First group is down. One less target. And our convoy pickup is way up here. So we're gonna walk a little slowly Stop. here. Let these guys cool Roll. down while we're doing it. Coordinates received. Heading out. On my way. All right. You're ready. Location good. You're ready. You're not. So what are these guys going to do when they come out of here? They're probably going to come out and go right down this way. There's an exit this way, but I have a feeling there's there's not there's no road over here. There's a little bit of a road here. So we assume they're going to go that... Oh, they're not going to go that way, because that's the edge of the map. So I guess they're going to have to go back down this way. So I guess they go this way. Okay. On it. Alright. Phoenix Hawk is probably our fastest mech, so we're going to let him... Trigger it. Copy that. And you're gonna run up there. Over here. And there. Aye aye. Alright, that's what I thought. Well, they are not going far. Alright, what did you bring us? A commando? Commando, a vehicle, a vehicle, and an enforcer. Yes, Commander. So. Move you out here. Way. So we don't really want these vehicles to go very fast. Because as soon as they get here, a third lance is probably going to spawn. And we'd rather that not happen. Alright, so there's some overheating guys over there. Let's go ahead and shoot him. 
Nice. Give him the minus to hit. Here he comes. He grabs some radiation on top of it. Good job. All right. So somebody's got to deal with this guy. That is a mana core with a PPC and double FAESs. So let's go ahead and target strike. So the front of his armor is running 166. And I do 140. So I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to do a lot of damage. All weapons committed. All right. Commander? And the Wolverine. Uh, let's make sure he goes down. Confirmed. All right. I was pretty sure it was going to go down anyways, but it's better if they go ahead and make sure it goes down. All right. Here goes one of our PPCs, our APCs. Thanks. I appreciate your help. All right. What is that? That's a striker. Not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Standing by. All right, here's the rifleman. He needs to stay out of range here. On my way. And we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna double large laser for now. Firing. We'll kick those PPCs in if we need them, but we don't want to overheat him or give him a chance to overheat us. All right. Varger PP APC, huh? All right. All right. Here comes that commando. He is angry at the Shadowhawk for some reason. I don't know why. He didn't do anything. Menace it, dude! Yep. All right. So we can put the side of this striker, but that can be done later. I can punch something or step on something, which is probably... He probably needs to step on this guy. I'm your Spaniel. Wolverine... And the Phoenix Hawk. So I think the Phoenix Hawk needs to confirm PPC the Enforcer again. Firing. Okay. I'm mainly doing that for the hit penalty on him, since he's probably going to be our. Hey, I said hit penalty, which means you don't hit me. Reporting. Heavy Asshole. Damage. All right, Shadow Hawk, go ahead and step on him. Engaging physical attack. Good job. Enemy unit destroyed. Waiting for right. order. So I think our next target is this guy over here. I'm going. So let's go ahead and target strike. We're going straight to core with this. We're going to turn off the larges and go with that. Engaging target. Not bad. Oh, fuck you! Why do you have to be so fast? Hold this position, Commander. <sighs> the package will be on its way soon. Yeah, yeah. Receiving you. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Alright, gotta get through these guys, gotta get through these guys. Uh, let's give you the PPC. Taking the shot. Why'd you have to go one step too close? Yeah, so there's that. And I assume there's going to be another group coming in. I don't know. I haven't seen them yet. Commando on the Phoenix Hawk. Ow, I got exposed structure. But that's okay. That shot went internal. Medusa's a backup anyway. See, that's what I thought. There's another group coming in. Yes, Commander. All right. So, he's going on two. Let's go ahead and get you right here. 
Yeah. Engaging physical attack. All you got was an arm? Come on, dude. Enemy mech. You can do better than that. I'm here. All right. I'm receiving you. So, Wolvie, over to the side here. I'm your spaniel. And yeah, you're gonna need to do it. Cool and vet that. Double large. And send. Ooh, that hit something good. Alright. And you've gotta do something to this guy. Kinda like that. On my way. No PPC though. Taking the shot. Oh, we didn't go. Crap. Needed that one to hit. All right, you go here. PPC's off. All right. So we have a commando at our back now, and then the new lance that just dropped over here. All right. Alright, at least these guys will get out of here. We win the mission. Objective secured. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go to that LZ right there. See that evac right there? I think that's gonna be where we go. We don't need to get any pilots injured. The salvage isn't worth it. They got vehicles, they're not gonna be able to keep up anyways. Doesn't help that they get to go extra times, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Rather keep our pilots healthy. Alright. That's a fast spider. Ready for orders. Alright, let's go here. Roger. And sure. That's an AC two. Right in the back of that Wolverine there. Showing minor damage. Engaging jump jets. Large laser. Miss. No damage detected. Watch my six. Yeah, I would move you if you. I should have moved you first. Reporting minor damage. All right. Where are you gonna go, buddy? You don't have jump jets. You can go here. That's pretty good. Onward. Locking on. Ah, nice. Good shooting, kid. Hostile eliminated. Orders. You also have none of those fancy things, so let's run you to here. Affirmative. Guys without jump jets. Alright, still some long range shooting going on. Hopefully, we can get away. The spider does not want to fight anybody, apparently. Right, you are the biggest problem, so run. Here. Full throttle. All right. Yes, Commander. You are so slow, dude. 
All right. Hopefully, we can get out of here this round. I don't know if the rifleman can make it. I think he can. Aye, aye. All right. On my way. Stabilizing. Engaging cooling And... I'm walking here. Yeah, you can get there. Sweet. All right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Brought these crappy mechs in, and nobody took any injuries. Way better than last time when I lost an entire mech and I had two pilots injured. All right, we pick up 465 grand. Uh, we pick up some XP for some people. We pick up nothing of interest here at all. Uh, we'll take that and that. And that. All right, take those things. All right. So that will bring us to the end of today's episode. Tomorrow we will go into part two of this. Bad Cat Who Walks Through Walls Flashpoint. And we will be uh, hitting a ambush convoy. Uh, if I remember correctly, it had eight mechs and four vehicles on it. Um, so let's take a look before we go here. So if we put in the Highlander, and we put in the Firestarter and the Assassin, and this guy, exactly 210. I think that's our play. I think that's our play. I think that's our Lance right there. So it's not nearly, it's, it's more damage, but it's all coming from the Highlander. And we're going to put Archangel in there as the uh, multi-shot. So he can, he can multi-target. So he's got all those weapons. He can put them wherever he wants. That'll help take down, we can focus down people. Uh, cult shot center torsos and stuff like that. Um, and then we'll put in, uh, we don't have any of those fast pilots, do we? No. Uh. So unfortunately, we only have one central lock pod, pod, pilot, and that's Kopech, Kopech here. So probably put Medusa in the Assassin, uh, OBG in the Mirage, and then send uh, probably Halo out, I think. Halo or Pigeon. We'll send Pigeon out in the Blackjack. So that's going to be how we set up for next week, or for tomorrow. And we will be back tomorrow with part two of Mad Cat Who Walks Through Walls. Thank you, everyone, very much. Please do like and subscribe if you have not already. And for those of you who have, I do greatly appreciate it. And OBG out.